Welcome back to another edition of Mindset for Musicians. So I feel like I keep throwing out there at you different controversial topics that are counterintuitive to everything we're taught as musicians. Give yourself permission to sound bad. What do I mean by that? I mean a lot by that. So stay tuned and we'll keep going. Okay, give yourself permission to sound bad. What do I mean by that? Well, to kind of piggyback off my last video where I talked about giving yourself permission to not be perfect and how perfectionism is such a saboteur of your progress musically. We're gonna go a little bit deeper. So what do I mean, give yourself permission to sound bad? I'm gonna tell you a story. Gonna be raw, gonna be honest. I used to really, really suck at singing. To the point where people would be like, nah, I don't think it's, I don't think you should be doing that. Maybe try something else. Try another instrument, try another field, try another degree altogether. I was not a good singer, but that is because I would sing so quietly because I was not willing to face where my issues were. So I would sing quietly like a mouse and hope that Nobody, not even myself included, could hear how ugly some of the sounds I made were. It was paralyzing. Like I was just petrified as in a piece of stone, you know, that I was just staying there where I was. And I was terrified to hear what I really sounded like. Because if I sounded bad, if definitively either I myself or somebody else was like, you know what? You sound awful. You shouldn't be doing this. Cause like ever since I was little, it was my dream to sing. Like I remember when I was like three years old, just literally crying because I knew that I wanted to be a singer, but I was very self-aware and knew that I was only three years old. So I might change my mind later on in life. And what if something happens? and it doesn't happen and I'm not a singer. Well, I am a singer and I am a good singer and I can say that confidently now because I had to give myself permission to sound awful, you know, and really just hear myself, record myself, listen back, cringe, be like, oh my gosh, that that is awful. But the beautiful thing is that when you do that, then you have the tools to improve. It's kind of like cleaning your room, okay? but you don't wanna see the mess. So you go into your room with your eyes scrunched shut and you're like, I'm not gonna look. Like, I know this is a weird analogy, but bear with me, cause it's a clearer one. But imagine that having a clean, pristine room where people could go and be like, wow, like, I love your style. I love what you've got going on in here. It just, everything about the way that you decorated this room just says you and it's an expression of who you are. And you know what? You really did, you, you hit the mark and I feel that you have conveyed a piece of yourself internally by the way this room looks. Okay, weird analogy, I know. So bear with me, close your eyes real tight. You really want this room to be so beautiful and so indicative of who you are, but you're not willing to see anything in the room and it's a mess and there's clutter, there's dust, there are cobwebs. You can't see them though. There is horrible paint on the walls. You don't wanna see any of this room though because it's gonna mean that you have to face all the ugliness and all the lack of accurate expression of who you are. So you just keep your eyes closed. So you're trying to like clean and you're trying to like grope around the room. Ah, there's a cobweb there. I felt it. Ah, I don't even want to think about it. So I'm not even going to touch it because ew. <laughs> but, you know, you know, everything that you do in approach to cleaning this room is with your eyes closed because it's painful to look at and you don't want to see it. You don't want to see it in its awfulness. Okay. Open your eyes. That is what you're doing to your skills as a musician. because you want to improve, but sometimes 
you render yourself in a petrified, frozen state when you can't see the ugliness. And the ugliness doesn't mean that you're not a musician. The ugliness does not mean that you're not meant to play music and that you do not have potential for beauty and greatness within you. Because you do. You absolutely do. The fact that I sounded awful and didn't just naturally... I naturally had a pretty voice, but I had no control over it. And when I gave myself permission to sound awful, like I actually dabbled in like singing screamo. And I mean, like I still do because I do love screamo music, but like the techniques that I learned through allowing myself to sound ugly really gave me the freedom to excel, not only excel, but discover where my strengths were find like new weird things that I could do vocally because I allowed myself to go into weird, ugly places. And my voice is so much stronger because now I know it because I looked at it with my eyes open and I said, all right, you need work, but now I can see it. And let me start brainstorming. Let me start troubleshooting. I do this thing. Now that I'm looking at it, I can see that I do this thing. But what do I need to do to fix this thing? And you can't ever see it with your eyes open if you don't allow yourself to sound ugly, to sound bad. The goal is truly to sound good. It really is. But sometimes musicians quit and never progress simply because they don't naturally sound amazing, transcendent of what they're doing. And simply because of that, simply because they need to gain control in ways that they didn't, they're not seeing, they give up. I've had students that were their own worst enemies. And I've had, I've had students that quit because they didn't want to believe me, you know, that they had greatness in them. Most of the minor, trust me, minor issues that they had but those minor issues, they couldn't even look at those minor issues. So they decided to stop engaging altogether. And I don't want that for you. I really don't. That breaks my heart, you know? And you do. You have greatness inside you. But you got to hear yourself. Sound as ugly as you possibly can. Record it. Listen back. Take it like medicine because it's good for you and it's good for your progress towards greatness. It's an important step and you gotta take it. I believe in you and I expect great things from you. So if this video resonated with you, pun intended, I hate puns, but I love the word resonate. And I think that it means exactly what I intend it to mean in this regard. If this video resonated with you, then please like this video and subscribe to my channel because I got a lot more to say. All right, bye.